Hey guys, so a lot of people got the brand new HomePod Mini, which is great. I love this little thing, puts out a great sound. But I was really interested in the thread technology that's built into here. So I really want to also test the brand new thread that's built into the Nano Leaf light bulb and also the Nano Leaf light strip and see what the difference is between Bluetooth and this new technology called thread. Let's jump into the video. So both the Nano Leaf light bulb and the Nano Leaf light strip are both a part of the Nano Leaf Essential line. Now I'm not quite sure what other products Nano Leaf is going to launch in this Essential line. I vaguely remember at CES they had a switch and maybe even a plug. So general everyday products that you are gonna need for your smart home at affordable prices that have the latest technology which includes thread now if you never heard of thread before it is brand new it is the talk of the town though especially since the release of the home pod mini now in a nutshell thread is a low power low latency self-healing mesh communication that is extremely reliable it means all your thread devices in your house will communicate with each other and if one of those happens to go down for whatever reason your thread network will heal itself and find another way to communicate with all the devices that are so active in your home I'm sure there's a lot of questions still to be asked about thread but that is a general overlook of what thread can do for us and by design having this type of mesh network not only is it more stable more reliable but it also extends your network out to further locations of your house so today I want to test out thread versus is the Bluetooth communication that are also built into both the devices, test out the latency and also the distance of the thread network to see if it's actually connecting through each other. Now luckily for this test, I do have a larger house around 55 to 6,000 square feet. And that is if this was just a Bluetooth network where if you're using a HomePod mini, or just your phone. With these devices, these will only work under Bluetooth. Bluetooth usually is around 30 to 40 feet, but with the thread network, if you're, commu if you're communicating through other devices, hopefully you can get longer range. So let's go ahead and try that out. When I set this up with HomeKit, I knew it was communicating via Bluetooth only because I did not have the HomePod Mini yet. And I noticed right away the latency was terrible. Sometimes it was too, three, five seconds, and sometimes it never turned on or changed colors. It was really, really bad. Even though my phone was right next to it, my HomePod OG was right next to the light, and it still took that long to turn on. I was praying that when I got the HomePod Mini, that, and when I activated Thread, it would definitely change. And I got some good news, it is amazing. So I'm happy to report that once I got my HomePod mini set up and updated it to 14.2, a new thread was activated right away because of how fast it was. You saw an incredible difference. I mean, you could really, as soon as you hit the button, the light turned on. Where once I disconnected the HomePod Mini, I would lose connection altogether. I don't know if this is the way it was designed, but I could not get back to Bluetooth. I tried to get back, but just couldn't get back. I would have no response from my original HomePod or my phone. So I'm not quite sure if there's a way to get back or maybe there's just a current issue um, I would think it would default back to Bluetooth. It just didn't do that for me. When I tested the distance, I kept the light bulb here in my studio and moved the home pod the mini to the other side of the house, which is about 35, 40 feet away. I have good news, it did connect. So I decided to take it a little bit further and actually drop it down to the second level. And once I was down at the second level, still at that 35, 40 feet away, I lost connection altogether. I could not connect Connect to the light bulb. Next thing I did was to bring in the Nano Leaf light strip, which is also a thread device, and put that at the top level on the other side of the house. Good news, it did work. It did extend that network and it was super fast. So I decided to take it one step further and drop the HomePod Mini to the basement and keep the Nano Leaf light strip at that top level on the other side of the house. And I got great news here too, and it still worked. So we have 30, 45 feet across, and probably was at, uh, 
probably 30, 20 to 30 feet down two levels through all the wood and everything else that this house is made of and it still works. So you can see how excited I am about this technology. Thread is the future of smart home and it is here today. I'm super excited. Um, I also going to be reviewing the Nano Leaf light bulb and light strip in the detail. If you guys want to see that video, I'll put that up right there. You guys can check that out. I'm also going to be reviewing other thread products on this channel in the very near future, like the Eve door and window contact sensor. I'm just waiting for the firmware update. The new version that was released in 2020 does have thread, but it does need a firmware update. I do want to make sure that it's the 2020 version, which I think they are selling on Amazon now. And also the Eve Aqua, also 2020. I'm just waiting for the firmware update and both those are going to be checked out on this channel with Thread Technology. I want to thank all my Patreon members. It really means a lot to me that they support me financially on this channel, even though they don't have to. If you want to see the benefits of becoming a Patreon member, check that out right there. And if you can't support me financially, that's okay. I hope you continue watching my videos entirely. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It truly means a lot to me. If you guys want to see the next video in my home kit series, check that out right there. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.